Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts. And today we are reacting to Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, and Conan help a student driver. This is from Conan on TBS. Let's see what they have to say. Uh-oh, my computer's being crazy. Hey everybody, meet one of my staff members, Diana Chang. Hey, Diana. Hey. You're getting your driver's license. Mm -hmm. I thought, because I like to help my staff members, I'd take you out, give you some of my pointers, because I've been driving for a long time. I got my license when I was 16, and that was, well, how old do you think I am? Like 50, 50 something. <laughs> Which you are, right? That's not the point. You look, you look like you're in your, at most, 40s. All I want you to do is look to camera and say, it's plausible, plausible that I'm in my early 30s. It's plausible that Conan is in his early 30s. <laughs> she said that because she needs her paycheck to not bounce. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, I have, that's me. So that's my break, right? Yeah. Isn't, isn't that cool? Uh -huh. The driver has a break? Uh -huh. It's really fun. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Did they tell you you should use both hands at all times? Yes. See, I think that's... No, I was today years old when I knew that the drivers on the in the student driver car has their own break. Which I totally understand, but I don't totally understand. That just blew my mind. I didn't, um, where I grew up, we, at least when I grew up where I grew up, you didn't have to take a driving course like this. That is crazy. Wow. That means they have to like fully manufacture cars with a brake on each side. Is there also a gas? I have so many questions. Not necessary. In my really? Opinion. Yeah. Makes it hard to text. Makes it hard to make phone calls and stuff. <laughs> To your hands. I'm trying to remember, is it 10 and 2 they're supposed to be on? Um, actually, since airbags came out, we learned that you want to drive with them lower. No one told me that. Well, you might have been driving before airbags came out. <laughs> that was a slam. Well, you just let that guy pass you. And so now it's like you're his bitch. You know what I mean? So you've got to be like, no, yeah. I'm not your bitch. That's you're how my I feel. Bitch. And then you accelerate <laughs> and cut him off. Okay. Go faster. Pass him. I'm trying. Now yell okay. out the window. You're my bitch. Go. Yell. Yell. You're my bitch. <laughs> Close. And you whispered it. You're doing the right thing here. You're letting people cross. I think okay. this couple right here is milking it. You know what I hate is when people take their time crossing the street. Lower your window so the next time you pass someone, they can hear you when you say you're my bitch, okay? Okay. Go. You're my bitch! Oh, those people... <laughs> that was sad. We did it! It was an older Asian couple. Did you, yell? Did you feel bad doing no, that? No, I felt great! You need to stop. I don't actually know if she is like on his staff on the show or she is a paid actress, but she is so entertaining. Like she's so good at whatever, whether this is real or fake, I don't care. She's so funny. And Conan is giving the worst advice, the worst advice. Did you yell? Did you feel bad doing no, that? No, I felt great. You need to stop and just glared in the window at them. That's how you start Sorry. trouble. Okay. okay. Look, That's now they're coming out. Look, look what they're doing. Now! just passed you. You just got schooled by a Sienna minivan. <laughs> You're doing great, Diana, but okay. we're going to up the ante now. I want you to learn what it's like to drive when there are other passengers in the car and maybe things get a little distracting. So we're going to swing by over here and pick up two of my friends. You cool with that? Okay. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh my. Yeah. 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 Okay, rule number one. Don't f this up <laughs> backseat you know what I mean the homies in the Kevin Hart and Ice Cube have to be the worst two backseat passengers Kevin Hart is so loud Kevin Hart is so hey he's so loud and Ice Cube is like the instigator of all instigators these are the worst two backseat passengers this is going to be hilarious don't f 
this up. Back seat, you With know what I mean? With the back. homies in the back seat. The homies in the back seat. Like, well, we might need you to do a drive-by, so you got to know how to slow down. See? I told yeah. you. Instigating. <laughs> That's a uh, oh, bonanza. That's a bonanza. I'm not putting on my seatbelt. You ain't putting no seatbelt on? Thug life. What? Thug life. No seatbelts? Not for me. Hey, man. Thug it. Hey, hey. Tupac was one of the biggest thugs I know, and he always wore his seatbelt. That's a good point. That's a real good point. All right, here we go. Slow down. Jesus. Slow down. You ever, you ever date a black guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was he cool? He was kind of dorky. Like Urkel dorky? What no, was no, he? no, no. I mean, he was just like... Kevin Hart dirty? <laughs> first, of all, first of all, I'm one of the coolest guys ever, man. Diana, am I cool? Yeah. See that? You're the funny friend zone guy. No, I'm not. Women don't put me in the friend zone. When they see me, first thing that come to mind is I want to bump bellies. Man. Only when you score a touchdown. <laughs> I done been in the end zone lots of times. And let me tell you something, when I get in there, I dance. What do you mean you dance? You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. We talking about <laughs> man. Oh. Chris <laughs> Coleman didn't get the metaphor. Yeah. He didn't get it. <laughs> White guy. Yeah, that's what that means. <laughs> we're, talk, we're talking to a nighttime walker. <laughs> I'm not a nighttime walker. <laughs> Let's put him out right here and see how much money. <laughs> I'm not a male prostitute. <laughs> All right, I'll get out. I'll, I'll, no, what do I do? No, no, what do no, I do when I walk around? Hey, go. man, you just Listen. get it. I'll be back here in 20 minutes and have my trap full. You're going to turn me out? Is that yeah, it? I'll be here two hours. You have my trap full. I honestly... They are obnoxious. They are exactly what I thought they would be in the backseat of this Corolla. Obnoxious! <laughs> It's like you're gonna turn me out. What? <laughs> I want my trap full. Okay, I you're gonna turn me out. Is that yeah, it? I'll be here two hours. You have my trap full. I honestly uh, don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I honestly, I'm not even doing a bit here. I don't know what you're talking about. Money. What do you mean? Have going your up. trap you don't full. Have my money. How did us teaching Diana to drive? turn into, I'm a male prostitute, you're gonna put me out, and you're gonna come back in an hour and you want your trap full. Hey man, you put on those jeans, not me. Watch him, don't let him get over in your lane. You know what I used to do? I used to have a tray full of pennies, like in my no, cup holder. No, batteries. So you throw D batteries? batteries? So you have a handful That's of ridiculous. Mold. Here's a penny. Okay. There you go. Is this person cutting you off? No, guys, this is so true. My dad used to date a lady. And like one of the first times I ever met her and rode in the car with her, this is in Newark, New Jersey. She had a, like, you know, where the, it's the ashtray. So she drove like a big, like Explorer truck. And she had like, you know, the ashtray, like back in the day, cars used to come with an ashtray where the, you could like light the cigarette. And she had an ashtray full of pennies. And she, when people used to cut her off, she would grab <laughs> She would grab a handful of pennies and throw them at the people's windshield. And I thought it was like the most like <gasps> thing. Like I grew up, my mother is a very like non-confrontational Christian Bible thumping church going woman. She like doesn't have a temper at all. And so to see this woman do that was both terrifying and inspiring to me. I want to say she also had like a big to go cup, like one of the like super sized cups that she had pennies into, like in the cup holder, if memory serves me correct. I've never heard anyone else say that, though. You got to be from a certain place in a certain area, I feel like, to have that kind of situation going on. <laughs> and she did it with like no conviction, no worries of getting in trouble or, or hurting anyone. It was just like, what the? And she just threw it out the window. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he just said that. Right, 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 right. Batteries, batteries is crazy. Penny. Okay. There you go. Is this person cutting you off? Roll down that window and throw a penny out the window. What's, what's, what's going on? Roll the penny. 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 Throw a penny. Go. You just dropped it. What's that? Did you have a target? The person that cut me off. Okay. Okay. Pull over. Pull over. Police. Pull over. I'm going to jump out. Pull over. No, no, no. Fire department. Fire department. Oh, okay. All right. I was out. Kevin, you I was out. Want to get in front? Yes, of Kevin? let me get in front. Of you just really—you don't know what to do, Diana. I gotta find somebody to get mad at. Right here. Slow down. Okay. Hey. Slow down. Hey man, stop find cutting us off. Find somebody okay. to get mad at. Hey man, you cutting us off, Jack. The 
this penny had your name on it, man. Yeah, I was about to throw this penny at you. Who's about to throw a penny at you? You see Diana driving? She's a student driver, man. Get your shit together. Driving a car without power windows is a big mistake. Yeah, that's I what I was going to say. Like, on top of all this, they gave her manual windows. So they want her to drive and roll down the windows manually. That is brutal. Get together. <laughs> Driving a car without power windows is a big mistake. I can't do this all day. And do you know how stupid this looks? And you go, mother uh-huh. <laughs> Look how stupid I look. How y'all doing? How you doing there? You good? We looking for marijuana. Ah! <laughs> what did he say, Pedro and what? 12. 12. 12 and Pedro. Pedro and 12. 12. I think he was talking about San Pedro and 12. Well, is it two different places? You're not even driving. Why are you assuming that Cube knows more about this neighborhood than I do? Why aren't you asking me about this neighborhood? You're, you're absolutely right about that. Call That's it. racist. Well, call you were racist. racist towards me. Uh, is, it, is it Pedro or Pedro? I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never been down here and I'm terrified. <laughs> Just going to buy weed or not? Yeah, we're going to buy weed. Have you done crack? <laughs> no. Booger okay. sugar? Look at this shit, man. You're here doing coke through your butt. They say it's getting in rush. I just want to know Kevin how Kevin. that conversation goes. And, man, that's just taking too long. Do me a favor and blow it in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't follow rules. My thing, rules are for bitches. Yeah, and you know what? Bitches get stitches. Okay, come on, you're doing it again. Yeah, when you said it sounds like an announcement. You know, it's it's like, like bitches like, get stitches. Well, that's a good one. Ted, do you know they say bitches get stitches? I thought I sounded pretty good. How's it going? Carl, I bet you were wild in your college days. Oh, man. I was balls to the wall. I put it up there and I saw if it would stick. And I rolled that onion all the way down. What? I tried everything no, okay. and everyone. Chicks, dudes. Okay. I did it all. I knew you was a male prostitute. <laughs> paid off my student loan. No, no. What is that? We gotta get you guys a pinata. Don't sell no ass while you out. No. Oh, is dressed like a male prostitute. <laughs> I got you this pinata. No, hold on, that's not. Hold okay. Hold on. I don't, you give that to Cube. The pinatas around here is bullshit. Yeah, all right. right. <laughs> Keep going. What's your favorite fast food? Um, Popeyes. Popeyes! Oh. Popeyes! The most surprised. He's so surprised. <laughs> I knew this was going to be funny. Like, you read the title, Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, and Conan, you know it's going to be funny, but it's way funnier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Kevin Hart is like that annoying little cousin. Like, he's so so obnoxious ice cube is really just back there being an instigator because that's like what i know ice cube to be he won't say much but he will add fuel to the fire like (laughs) and then conan is just going along he's just going along with the nonsense oh my gosh (laughs) popeye popeye's Popeye! Oh! Diana, I almost married you just now. There you go. There you go. I said, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? You take that into the studio, that goes to number one. That's just like it's just bad, man. It's not bad. It is. What the kids are listening to now, Naughty by Nature, OPP, how can I explain it? I'll take it frame by frame. Oh, my goodness. That's what's happening. I did grow up on but on Naughty by Nature, and OPP was one of my favorite songs growing up as a kid. Oh, my gosh. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP? Oh, my goodness. Kona just took it back. I'm sorry. I am like, my nose is running. This is so funny to me. Okay. How can I explain it? I'll take it frame by frame. Oh, my goodness. That's what's happening now. What do we see? Oh. Oh, good. What's that? A dispensary. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. yeah that's great. <laughs> Can we come in? Oh, we yeah. come in? Yeah. yeah. We, got, we got a license. She's normally used to putting drugs in her butt. <laughs> it's called the prison wallet? Yeah. Hey, you like Sour Patch Kids, Conan? I love Sour Patch yeah. Here you go. Get these. I Get want two kilos of Sour Patch Kids. Two kilos. <laughs> okay. Um, could you do me a favor? <laughs> I want to fill this pinata with weed. Did he break it? Do you have any tape? Get out with OPP. I'm 
lot of smoke. What are you talking about? This is like a Cheech and Chong movie up front. <laughs> you gotta crack your window, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna die, we're going to jail. You had a good time, didn't you? You had a good career. You're ready to call it quits. <laughs> Suddenly, all my anxieties and fears are gone. <laughs> Red light, come go, Red baby! Light. I'm gonna break the law with a lot of weed on me! Yeah. 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 Like that. No. Good thing is, he's on a bike. I broke the law in front of this policeman. We ain't scared no popo. Well, I'm just gonna speak. That's I'm good with cops. Hello! I didn't want to get out of the way. Sorry about this, sir. You blocking a crosswalk right now? Sir, here's a good thing about me. First and foremost, I'm a Christian. Yeah. And what I learned is that Jesus once walked on water. I don't know where I'm going with this guy. I really can't think. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much, officer. Sir, thank you. You yeah. won't have it again. Yeah, Paul, po, you better get going. This being true, you're not helping. Instigating. Get out with OBP. Get out. What do you guys think? This now I have to go to Popeyes today. Oh my gosh, I need Popeyes in my life today. It's happening today. Today. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've watched all week. Best thing. <laughs> what do you guys think? This chicken? Crack. Uh -huh. Crack cocaine right here. I wonder if you could take this up. The butt? The butt. I would do it. That's the only time I would do it. Diana, you are ready for your driver's test. Isn't she ready now, guys? No, you are. Listen, and if the instructor mm -hmm. says anything that mm -hmm. you don't like, you throw a battery at his ass. <laughs> Great comedy, great television, great idea, just stupendous TV. Oh my God. Does Conan still come on? Does Conan's show, this actual show, still come on TV? I would love to know that. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Oh, all right, y'all. Don't throw batteries at people. The rest is up to you. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.